What's up, guys? Ryan Rig here with Fast Electronic and Loud. We always bring it to you Fast Electronic. And of course, Loud, today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Elgato Gaming Game Capture HD 60S. Not the HD or the uh, HD 60 or even the HD 60 Pro, which we've done videos on the channel, but the brand new HD 60S with support for USB 3.0 live streaming, instant game view, so much greatness packed inside, so we should probably go ahead, take a look at the brand new HD60S. The new Elgato Gaming Game Capture HD60S takes advantage of hardware encoding available also through the USB Type-C connection, USB 3.0 support, the Elgato Game Capture HD60S. We're going to get it out of the box, take a look at it, show you everything that's included, set it up from a Mac's perspective, but it does work perfectly well with a PC. We'll do what we do best here and get that unboxing knife. Always the best part of new products is opening the package. I love the sound of plastic, just the crinkly plastic, the newness, the smells there. So we'll go ahead and get this HD60S out of the box here. We'll slide it open there. It kind of slides open like a book. It's always the same there with Elgato Gaming. Your skills immortalized. We've used all of the game capture devices here on our YouTube channel. You can check out those videos on the channel as well. Opening up just a real quick uh, setup guide, some social media links there to Elgato Gaming. Let's go ahead and open up this bottom flap of the box. Underneath here is going to be the supplied cables. The great thing is we do have the USB C type C 3.0 cable included an HDMI cable so we'll have everything we need to get this up and running without any need for any extra cabling and we got our always, always awesome Elgato gaming sticker I love these I think I have about five or six of those by now but here it is let's get the brand new HD 60s out of the box so we can get up close and personal and set up we'll show you software we'll show you so many different things during this uh, kind of review unboxing slash tutorial video so Make sure you stay tuned for all of that during the video. Everything else out of the box there. We got a little bit of paperwork, uh, just some warranty information there. We can go ahead and set all of this down to the side so we can uh, go ahead and get out here the USB 3 connection. It's a USB 3.0 Type-C connector. Great thing about Type-C, it's reversible, so it doesn't matter which way you hook it up. So if you're hooking it up in the dark, you won't have any problems doing that. The Elgato Game Capture HD 60S looks a lot like the HD 60, with the big difference is the availability of the hardware encoding and now that USB 3.0 connection through the Type C. So we'll show you all of that, like I said, during the video. We're going to go ahead and get out of the package here the HDMI cable. Always nice when the manufacturers supply an HDMI cable because you probably already have an HDMI coming out of your PC or your game console now, and that's where you'll plug into the inside of your Elgato and then use their supplied cable for the outside. So we've got HDMI in, we've also got an audio port like for analog audio, and then we have the Type-C USB connection on one side. Real sleek device, rubber grip on the bottom. So if you got it on a desk, it's gonna stay pretty secure there. It's got the single HDMI out, like I said, HDMI in, USB 3.0 and analog audio in. Real sleek looking device. I've been using the HD60 for quite a long time now. So we're gonna go ahead and get the USB Type-C connector. Like I said, it's reversible, plugs in any way. And we'll take their supplied cable and we'll just run this on the out because you should already have an HDMI cable going to your console now. So you'd essentially, from the console, plug that in to your Elgato and then out back to your monitor and or television. Like I said, we're gonna be using a MacBook because the i5 and i7 hardware encoding that's available and this is a simple USB 3.0 connection to the MacBook Pro on the HD 60s like I said we've looked at the HD 60 before and if you stack them up side by side without the branding or the USB-C connection versus the USB 2.0 you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference they look completely identical so like you can see there in the video with the exception of that USB 3.0 connection that is all really and the branding that make the two of these different but yet the new one is so much powerful with some new features so whether it's ps4 xbox one pc gaming doesn't matter you're going to be able to use this via hdmi whether it's ipads iphones and we've done videos on that so we've got it connected to the macbook pro you can see we've got the game capture software open and we're going to take a look at that here also in the video the great thing you can take full advantage of what's called instant game view. There is zero latency, so you are seeing exactly on the screen or monitor exactly what you're seeing on your PC or Mac when you're recording. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the game capture software, which really makes the HD60S come alive. So you can see we got Forza Horizon 3, we've got Xbox One connected. So we can see we're capturing 60 frames per second and a data rate of, well, it says 40 megs per second. We're actually showing a little bit higher there 
We've got selection there for HDMI, depending on what input device, like I said, PS4, Xbox One, tablets, 60 FPS support. You've got quality settings. We've got basically, we can allow a 60 frame per second in the video preview. And we'll talk more about if you disable that, will you get any type of performance increase? You can set some color custom pictures, uh, profiles there if necessary. We've been using the software. There's tons of videos from Elgato about their software, but this is just kind of an overview. We've got control of our live streaming, our bit rate. We can, you know, stream all the way to 1080p and 60 FPS, which is a really great feature in addition to recording gameplay is to be able to stream your gameplay. And that's the beauty in the Elgato HD60S, stream to Twitch, YouTube, Ustream. It, it does not matter. There's a few different options there available. You can plug in an external microphone. You can adjust the live commentary. The cool thing is we've got stream command being that you can stream. There are some presets that are included from Elgato, but there you can see there, hello in the face cam, but you can also edit the scene. So if you want to bring in web images, overlays, different graphics that you've designed for your web uh, face cam, whatever you want to do, edit scenes is going to make that possible through the game capture software when you're in the stream command. So. You know, if you want to put, use the Elgato gaming logo, use face cam, whatever you want to do, you want to use, you know, get additional scenes, you're able to do that all within the software and there's no additional charge. This just comes included as well as updates, support. So taking a look at it here, we've also got, you can capture just a screenshot, one click streaming, one click to record, one click turn on your commentary. Also a safety feature, flashback recording. Maybe you weren't recording and you did something epic in a game. When you have flashback recording enabled, you can essentially go back in the timeline and then record that footage because flashback recording is happening. Now, let's take a look at the performance here. Being this the HD60S, it's taking advantage of USB 3.0. There is some significant performance uh, and increase, definitely a workload on your CPU and GPU. So if you want to uh, lower some of that performance, you can disable the 60 FPS preview windows, so it's going to make the software and your computer run just a little bit less. And you can see there within the system monitor, the performance there. This is an i7 processor, so it does take pretty decent hit. But if you've got an i5 or an i7, you should not have any issues with this as long as you've got like Intel HD graphics. All the specs and requirements for this are listed on Elgato's website. Now, where that hardware encoding comes in, especially here with MacBooks, so having the i5 and the i7, we can take advantage of hardware encoding. So now we're gonna take full advantage of our CPU and GPU versus taking advantage of what we could only gain through software recording, or pardon me, software encoding. Now, to optimize your USB 3.0 performance, although the rate's there, just make sure you've unplugged any USB 2.0 devices. Now, the HD60S, it does speak for itself. A ton of gamers are using this. We've reviewed other game capture devices on the channel, but we will now be using all of the HD60S in its greatness and glory on the Gaming for Grandpa channel. So make sure you check out videos there for full 1080p 60. But guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, Fast Electronic and Loud. Thanks for watching.